Hey YouTubers, this is Alex from 24HourPCGaming.com bringing you not so much a review but more of a question that most PC gamers have asked themselves time and time again and the question really is to gaming keypad or not to gaming keypad now let me explain to you what that question means a lot of us have seen these cool little gaming keypads from Logitech and Razer and they look cool, they look nice on the desk they seem like they would be a functional tool in your gaming arsenal but none of us really want to spend the money in order to find out whether or not this is a viable option for us well I have and I will do a side-by-side -side comparison to a gaming keypad and a keyboard now the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to inform all you PC gamer fans out there and the price cost was pretty marginal this is the Razer Nostromos this is their gaming keypad their entry-level gaming keypad and I figure for fifty nine dollars why not try it see if it works and then maybe step up if I like it now my biggest concern was how was I going to be able to adapt to a new configuration for my left hand most of us are used to the old AWS setup dancing around the keyboard you know to get some of our abilities in some games or to get to some weapons drops as far as Call of Duty and so on and so forth and there's a lot of dancing around you know in this area now while it may not seem substantial but that's a lot of space to cover on a keyboard when we step over here everything is here there's no wrist movement there's no moving all to five six or the F keys or dancing around the space bar the space bar is right here and it can be configured to any key modification that you like you got your scroll key play around with that you have a, a eight directional pad so that you can either switch this from four or eight so that can also be used just for quick access of a lot of things and then you have your keys which is 17 fully programmable keys plus your scroll bar the button up top your directional pad and your space bar while I was reluctant during the first couple hours of gaming I found it to be extremely comfortable because after I remapped the keys to the configuration that I liked and I was most comfortable with my wrist never had to move it's just there. Now granted this one isn't the Orb Weaver which I have ordered and it isn't fully adjustable and so on and so forth but at the end of the day this gave me a good sense as to if I was going to like that setup or not. I will say that it did increase my performance in games marginally. It's not an end all. It's not the oh my god this thing is going to make me the most efficient gamer ever known to man but it definitely did help out a little bit so with that being said let me rest our hand over here we can tap the space bar rather quickly instead of here which that's not really too much of an issue but you have your directional commands and if you have anything else over here you kinda have to take your fingers off in order to get to weapon swaps and so on and so forth Whereas to this, you can actually use this directional pad to control your player, which I don't do, but you could if you wanted to, and then use this for all your functions. I've probably put about a good solid 20 hours into gaming with this and this only, strictly. And I'll tell you where I noticed the biggest difference. We're big fans of Darksiders 2. Yes, it's a, pre it's a, it's a console port. Yes, it's kind of a corny game, but it's a fun game. Now, in that game, there's a lot of special abilities. And when I was playing on my keyboard, I noticed that I would only use like three or four. When I stepped up to this, and I mapped all the abilities to here, and I used this as my directional pad, just for that, we ended up having a huge increase in play fun, you know? I mean, ultimately, we got to use more combos, more special abilities because they were right at our touch a lot of us gamers are kind of lazy 
oh, we got to reach over here and remap all this stuff over here. Ah, screw that. I'm just going to keep to the simple meat and potatoes. But with this, it kind of broadens your horizons because everything's so easy and accessible from right here, and you don't have to dance around the keyboard. You know, it's really a no-brainer. Now, due to the fact that I logged in so many hours with this with such a short time, I'm pretty confident that this setup right here for my gaming is the way I want to go. I'm not saying that everybody has to go that way. Some people won't like it. Some people are so stuck on their keyboards that they just won't change over to, <clears throat> change over to this right here. But that's pretty much a personal preference. Now, one thing that I will say about this, this particular model, like I said, is the Nostromos, made by Razer. It's $59. You can get it at Best Buy, Walmart, I mean, pretty much anywhere. I like the easy customization. Not only that, but using the Razer 2.0 Synapse software, you can link it directly to your games. And by linking it to your games, that means that when you open up a certain game, your profile will already be loaded so you don't have to screw around with it and you can also switch in between your eight different mapping settings on the fly so I mean let's just say that you're playing World of Warcraft or a game like, like that and you have to switch roles from attack to heal or attack to tank or so on and so forth you can literally have a whole different set of options set up on this hit the switch and it'll actually spin over to the next settings and then you can be ready for tanking or healing and it's the same concept for games like Call of Duty if you have your button configuration set up for you know pretty much run and gun spray and pray you can have it set up but then if, let's say you get to a map where you really want to just snipe or more of a camping even though we do frown upon camping at PC gamers you can switch on the fly and it can change whatever you need so, overall, at the end of the day, I would probably say that yes, for $59, it is something that I would probably sign off on for you folks at home to try, you know, venture out, see if it works for you. And once you get comfortable with it, and really it didn't take me much time at all to get comfortable with it. It was literally jump in there, map everything the way I needed it to be. And within an hour, I was already set. And I don't want to use my keyboard during gaming at this point in time now. But definitely want to try to give it a shot. It's reasonably priced. Uh, Razer is pretty much well known everywhere, so you can get it anywhere. It's not like you have to special order it. Now, due to the success of my trial with this particular model, which is the entry level model, I actually went ahead and I ordered the Orb Weaver Stealth which granted it's not $59, it's $129. But I'm so convinced and so comfortable with this setup that I would like a fully mechanical gaming keypad to match my fully mechanical board. And I, the response that I've got from the mechanical keyboard and the increase in performance, it, it can only get better with the gaming keypad. And with that being said, give it a shot. You might find, you might like it, and you might just want to use that all the time. So, with that being said, this is Alex from 24 Hour PC Gaming, signing off. And just remember, keep gaming and game hard.